the goal of the workshop is to train our firefighters that work on engine companies how to use that engine effectively in the field, safely, how to maintain that equipment um, and be effective wildland firefighters on the ground. Yeah, wildland fire engines uh, are pretty much the backbone of wildland firefighting for, for basically all the different agencies. Um, they're the, our frontline resources. The Engine Operator Workshop is actually an interagency workshop. Uh, it's put on by the Bureau of Land Management in coordination with its partners, the National Park Service, Unified Fire Authority, and uh, Utah National Guard. This year is actually the first year uh, that we've had it up here in the Salt Lake City area. We moved it from Moab, uh, Utah, up here so that it was a, a more uh, central location, more opportunities for firefighters to get the necessary training to better their skills. So most fires are caught in the early stages in initial attack and that's typically done uh, with the engines with the support of the aircraft assets and hand crews. Firefighting is an inherently dangerous line of work so knowing that going into it we try to mitigate those risks by having uh, the best people we can and the best equipment that we can provide them. And, along with top quality training to minimize those risks. You learn so much and it's all practical. You know, it's cool to come here and actually work with the engines and getting your hands dirty and it's just another chance to get to know your engine and know what you need to do. And everyone works together, you know, we're all same team, all have the same goals. Yes, this is my first time as an operator. Uh, last year I dabbled with it a little bit, but I'm here to get the official training and everything that I need to know how to perform. Property threats and the uh, threat to life safety is high, particularly firefighter life safety. And that's why we're out here in an excellent training environment uh, that Camp Williams has provided us. A lot of realistic driving scenarios where we're actually off-road, um, using our tool, the engines, the way that they're designed to be used, um, driving, flowing water, and uh, addressing some of the uh, mechanical issues that might come up as well. This fire equipment is paramount to our success. We need to make sure that it's in fire ready condition at all times. Um, obviously these are very important pieces of equipment and the crews take great pride in making sure that they're ready to go whenever the call comes in. We just never know when a fire call is going to happen or where they're going to end up so they have to be ready to go at all times. And they do that by just being very diligent on their equipment checks, checking under the hood, making sure these pumps are good to go, that they're, that they're ready for firefighting operations, as you can hear. As a land management agency, uh, we're responsible for not only protecting natural resources, but also the uh, communities that they surround. So it's important for us to always train and better our, our skills and abilities so that we're prepared for anything. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, the right conditions, uh, a lot of carryover fuels from last year, uh, drought for three years, you know, it stacks up to be at any, any given day we could have a major event and so we have to be prepared and ready to fight those, uh, those fires effectively. We did a, um, a scenario where we get trapped and it's really cool because you don't really ever practice that. And we backed up into it, we're putting it out and all of a sudden the fire came down and flanked us from below. And uh, so we ran protection hose lines down to spray that, but then the fire came up from the top. And so it's just kind of working out how to get your water and conserve your water. And we were almost out of water, so it was kind of stressful. But so it was a good mental image to have of this could actually happen. Like now I know what I need to do, and it just helps prepare you for that. Yeah, it's good to learn from these guys because they've been out on the ground and they've had some sticky situations, and hearing how they got out of that is a brings up some good ideas in case you're ever in that situation. This workshop is comprised of classroom, PowerPoint, you know, instructor-led scenarios, and then actually out here working on the trucks themselves and then taking the trucks into the field and doing practical field exercises, whether it's rolling attack, mobile attack, hose lays, both simple and complex. We go through some engine protection scenarios, 
and various applications of uh, chemical additives that we use in our water system, such as foam or gels. So it's a, it's a pretty uh, thorough, hands-on experience, and we try to make an emphasis on driving and practical ground applications of firefighting apparatus. Yeah, this, this has been a very successful workshop over the years with now over 350 students cycling through the training um, with that emphasis on, on keeping the equipment in, in readiness and the crews at their, their top skill levels um, so that we know that they'll be safe out there when we, when we turn them loose to do the job of protecting life, property, and resources throughout the nation.